Okay, so welcome everyone to the Streaming C community meeting on July 27th. And uh, yeah, let's start with our agenda. Um, I just added one of the PRs. Uh, to be honest, I went through uh, PRs and issues. I didn't find anything that needed something to be addressed uh, immediately. Uh, just this one, this is uh, a PR that uh, yesterday uh, Tom, I opened after having uh, this offline chat with you and, and Tina. So, uh, of course, I have approval from Tina. I have got a couple of, uh, of comments from Jakub. Uh, yeah, if you have uh, time to take a look, it should be fairly simple, I guess. Yeah, I will try and look at that today. Thank you. Say that I don't have any more uh, PRs or issues. I don't know if uh, anyone on the call has something to, to share. It seems not. So let's move on with proposals. Uh, the first one is this about the Kubernetes server side apply proposal. Uh, there are different approvals. Uh, I guess uh, even this time is mostly waiting from uh, you, Tom, having another pass, because I remember that you already left a lot of comments on this. Um, so yeah, again, if you have time for that, it would be great. Okay, again, I've seen this sort of uh, one progressing um i need to get back to it yeah of course it's not just for tom but uh, if anyone would like to take a look and provide some feedback uh is welcome so the next one is about let's see yeah this is new from samuel uh i guess he's trying to address something related to how to know when an upgrade was done by the StreamZ operator. So storing some information about which is the version that reconciles and is managing the Kafka custom CR uh, in the status of the Kafka custom resource. It seems to make sense to me. So again, um, if people on the call are interested to take a look, it will be great to take a look to this proposal and provide feedback to Samuel on this. Yeah, it's not something that we have to discuss right now, but just raised to make people aware of this. Yeah, this one I have actually managed to take a quick look at and it, it does seem uh, fairly reasonable. Uh, I need yeah. to do a proper pass though. Okay, thank you. And the last one, Yeah, this is the one coming from Mikel uh, about uh, yeah a new uh, matrix exporter um, in order to avoid uh, what we have today. So getting the Gemx matrix from uh, Kafka and Zookeeper and using the Gemx exporter in the middle to have them in the Prometheus format exposed by an HTTP endpoint. So uh, Mikel was working, I guess, on a, an exporter which is able to get directly the metrics from Gemx to Prometheus, avoiding to use, uh, well, not Gemx, but getting directly the metrics from Kafka, um, avoiding having this um, uh, Gemx step in the middle and then Prometheus, so directly from Kafka to uh, Prometheus. Uh, I see Tom, Jakub and me already left some comments uh, and uh, yeah, we are waiting uh, for answer from uh, Mikkel, uh, who is on the call. And then again, for the other people who are interested to, to take a look, uh, I think that, uh, yeah, it really makes sense. It's a great improvement on StreamZ side. Uh, I think one of the main issues that uh, may block this is that this really, currently this really makes sense on the server side. Uh, due to the way uh, Kafka handles uh, metrics currently on the client side is not really usable. So 
um, I think it's 3D has some client side like the bridge and um, some other components. So I think it would make really, really great if we could replace everything by this pipeline, but if we can only replace half of it, uh, it's going to be a bit of a pain because we'll have to do all the cons of the other thing while having to maintain this in external. So, um, and also Zookeeper doesn't support these mechanisms, so we'll have to wait for Craft to be there. Craft would support this mechanism. So I think I'll try to do some work upstream to try to tidy up things, but if I can't get the work upstream, I think we'll have to consider whether we want this or not, or whether this needs to be part uh, in StreamZ. Yeah, right. It's a good point uh, because it's not going to work with Zookeeper and the bridge. Yeah, any more comments from the others? Okay, so we are done with proposals unless uh, anyone has other proposal to highlight. If not, let's move to the issues, triage. <clears throat> so the first one, I think that we already triaged the last time. <clears throat> I guess from the last comment from Jakub, we were waiting <clears throat> from about say, some some information from the user two weeks ago, and uh, he didn't engage again. So I guess that we can uh, close it, maybe tagging the user and say, if you have any more comments, you can reopen it. What do you think? Sounds good. I know you have typo, more information. Oh, right. Thank you, Luke. And of course, it's triage. This one generate PAM certificates by default. Uh, yeah, again, Jakub was clear that all the secrets uh, in StreamZ already have the, the PAM certificate. We triaged uh, to see if we get some feedback from the user, but since two weeks, again, we didn't get any feedback from the users. So yes, I We'll close it and as before, just tagging the user and see if he wants to provide more feedback and reopen it. Seems the triage seems to be symbol today. Okay, this one was triaged last time. I think that um, 
Yeah, we were even uh, mentioning uh, that Tom maybe was not on the call uh, as one of the experts about these kind of things. But um, yeah, it was about using this uh, jmalloc uh, instead of, of the default one. And uh, Jakub was suggesting to just uh, rebuild the custom image uh, using, using this jmalloc. Uh, the user at the beginning didn't realize that he could do that. But now he seems to be happy this way. So we were uh, discussing if it's worth to have this jmalloc uh, built in by default into our image. Uh, but yeah, we were not sure about doing this. So my point is that uh, if the user is happy about building his custom image, adding the jmalloc uh, instead of the default one, I think that it's a good way for that instead of adding this as default in our images. Any more comments or you are okay with this? So means I'm going to close this one. Yeah, we can close it. Okay. You said the user wasn't aware you could do that. Is it something you want to tell user how to do? Should we document this or is it something that's too specific that we don't want users to mess up with? When you say you want people to know what to do, you mean adding something in the documentation? Yeah, yeah. Or, uh... But specific for the gmalloc or in general? Because I think guess we have in the documentation something around uh, other stuff, uh, like for example, if you want to include uh, a different exporter for open telemetry. Uh, so it depends on what you want to include. Just the process, not not anything specific to this thing. Just the process of uh, adding something to the image. And, uh... Yeah, we can. I have not strong opinion on that. I don't know. We have we have Paul on the call. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it some thought. Do, do you want to add a tag on a documentation tag on there as well? Yes. Even if, as Michael was suggesting, it was not just about the gemalloc. When you have something that you want to add to the image, and you can build a custom image, right? Uh, so we can drop a note on as well, just to... Yeah. Yeah, okay. But at the same time, it's something, I think, may correct me if I'm wrong, but that sounds quite advanced and you know, people could do all kinds of stupid things, but... Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that could, I don't think we would do idea. That could make investigation then hard because they built a crazy image and then they come with crazy issues and we have no clue what's going on, so... Um, But just reason I'm saying is because it looks like here we didn't do anything and we were, this was something the user could already do, just they didn't know they could do it, basically. Yeah. Okay. okay, so let's refresh this page so that we can see the list shrinking. This was signed as a bug. Jakub was on this and I took a look before it seems that Jakub was not able to reproduce so working fine 
So he just raised a comment to the user in order to say that the exception that he was facing uh, can happen only when the Kafka connector custom resource is missing. So I guess that Jakub is waiting for the user to reproduce it again. So it was just last week. So I will just say that we are waiting for feedback from the user, right? And leaving this open. So I'm not sure why this was tagged as needs triage. This is work that Tina is doing on the liveness readiness probe for uh, for craft mode. There is uh, a related PR open it for that. And uh, yeah, it's related to this proposal, which I guess was accepted, right? So that should be the corresponding issue. So I guess that Tina is working on this. Is Tina on the call? Yeah. Yeah, I have the PR open, so if anyone has the time to look at it, it'd be great. It's a bit of a change to the proposal. Um, I was going to make the change to the actual proposal, but Jakob suggested that um, just describing what change needs to be done in the actual PR. So I described that in this issue. Um, but yeah, there's a... Um, one implementation, proposed implementation would be a bit different, which is the broker only mode uh, liveness probe. It's a bit, it's different than the original proposal. Okay, so I guess that the outcome here is that uh, yeah, people, maintainers will, uh, <clears throat> will go and have a look to the PR that you opened. Uh, related to the changes that you are describing in the issue and the PR. I will leave this uh, still in the needs triage for the next time. Maybe when Jakub join, uh, yet some more comments.
Okay. Okay, so it seems to be a bug, which was uh, yeah, raised by Jakub. Um, it seems to be that when you <coughs> are downgrading the stream Z operator, and you are moving back the version of Kafka as well, the latest Kafka is still in uh, annotation in stream Z pod sets and uh, this exception is raised so it's not able to downgrade there is a workaround about the late the stream bot set to get rid of this annotation and then uh, yeah let the the the, the downgraded streams operator to roll out the the older kafka version or doing the step-by-step -step approach So I think that, yeah, it's actually a bug. It has to be fixed. I'm not sure it's a good start or needs help. It's something that we have to deal with. What the other people think about this? Does this highlight a gap in the test, in the testing? If downgrade is a supported use case, then we should have system tests which exercise that path. Yeah, maybe. Or... Sorry, yeah. carry on, Paolo. No, 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 I was just saying, yes, maybe it's possible that there is some missing around. I, so I'm a little bit surprised that, uh, because I know that there are different downgrade system tests. So I'm not sure why none of them is uh, hitting this scenario. Uh, do we have someone on the call? I see Jakub or Lukas. Do you know about this? To be honest, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a scenario that we actually do not test. We have a system test for downgrade, but I'm not sure if we actually downgrade the Kafka version during it. I think Lukas knows more about it. As uh, Jakub mentioned, we have a lot of uh, downgrade tests, but I will need to check if this particular scenario is uh, part of the system test, because I'm not sure. Okay, thanks, Lukas, and thanks, Kit, for uh, pointing this out. So, uh, I will say that as an outcome uh, of this triage, uh, Lukas or Jakub or any other uh, people can go and take a look if we are covering or not the system test or maybe adding one. And uh, on the other side, yeah, I guess that we have to fix it because it's uh, an actual bug we have. Is that fine with you, Lukas? Yep. What's your GitHub account, Lukas? <laughs> it's something not starting with Lukas, right? Yes, I'm Kong. Oh, okay. Yeah. I am Kong, yes.
allows disabling leader election in Elm chart. So I'm not an expert on the Elm chart sides, to be honest, but I went through this one and I also saw that the user has already opened the PR and it was also merged. So I guess that it was about uh, something missing in the Elm chart in order to enable and disable the leader election. Uh, yeah, in order to have a way to, to enable or disable the leader election in the Elm chart for the cluster operator. So as far as I can see, this issue seems to be addressed and closed. And I guess the last one. Watch namespaces automatically create Kafka cluster in the game watching great distance of Kafka cluster. So still Elm chart and uh, the user is using Argo CD to deploy the cluster operator. I will test further and post update. So I see that we are waiting for uh, the user. It was just two days ago. So let's leave this open and um, yeah, we'll triage again in, uh, in two weeks. Okay, and with this one, I guess that we are at the end of the triage. Yeah, we have just three left open for the next time. Paolo, were we right to leave the issue that's assigned to Tina with the triage, needs triage label on? I'm just confused, I'm just questioning the process. Uh, sorry, Keith. The issue um, 8850. I'm just curious um, why we're leaving the triage label on that. Is that no, the right yeah. thing to do? Well, uh, I was not sure, as I said at the beginning, I was not sure why it was marked as needs triage. So I just left this needs triage. I don't know if, if Jakob next time has something to say, but yeah, from my point of view, we can just remove the needs triage label. Sorry, uh, I, did, I didn't see. I didn't see the comment you added. No, that's that's fine. That that if you're querying that, that makes sense. Thanks. No, it was a good point. I, I'm just not sure why it uh, it was on this triage here. Looks like Tina added the need triage label in the first place. Um, it's ah, right. A new, it's a new issue I open. I think it gets automatically put in. Um. Lucas needed an issue to reference in his test failure, so I 
wanted um, we wanted the upstream issue, which I created as brand new. So that it wasn't there before. Okay, so say that I, I didn't notice that it was you, Tina, to add the needs triage. Do you think that we can just remove the needs triage label at this point? Um, I'm happy either way, but like you said, in case um, Jakob have comments on the, because it, it has some different um, changes proposed. Um, than the original proposal, and the, I don't know if that needs to be looked at first before we remove it, remove the label or not. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. Even if you know the issue is here, so uh, anyone can jump, ju just jump into the issue and and add comments here uh, if there are any reasons why it does not work. Anyway, I'm happy to to leave the label. So mm, to be honest. I'm fine. Maybe next time we will just remove it on, or we just close it because uh, your PR will be merged and everything will be done in two weeks. So, okay. So we are at the end of the call. Uh, there is any other business that people want to raise, discuss? It's your last chance or we can give you 25 minutes back. Okay, it seems not. So thank you everyone for joining and see you in two weeks. Thank you. Thanks very much. Bye all. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.